Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is for Behavioral Science 3010, Statistics of the Behavioral Sciences at Utah Valley University. In this video, we're looking at the first practice test for Chapter 5, which is on z-scores. The first question on this quiz is, no matter what the shape of a distribution, if it is converted to z-scores, then its mean will be either A, cannot be determined, B, the same as the original distribution, C0, or D1. Well, the answer on this one is zero. Um, the idea cannot be determined. No, we, we can do that because z-scores follow a very predictable format. Same as the original distribution, that's true of the shape of the distribution. Um, but the zero and one have to do with the mean and the standard deviation. Uh, let's take a quick look. You see here that we have the formula for the z-score, and you find out how far away everybody is from the mean, but then you div that gives you the deviations, and because they're from the mean, the deviations always add up to zero, so the average deviation is zero. And you can see that in these uh, little boxy plots on the right side here. These are histograms made with six points of just stacked up like boxes. Uh, you, can, you see on the top one that the mean is three. It's right there in the middle. And beneath it, where it's converted to z-scores, you can see it becomes zero. And that, that will always be the case, no matter what the shape of the original distribution. Number two, in a normal distribution, what percent of the distribution is between z of negative 3 and z of positive 3? The choices are 99.7%, 6%, 50%, or 68%. Well, the answer uh, for this one is 99.7%. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at this. Here's the distribution. This is the normal distribution. And you see right there in the middle, we've got 34% on one side of the middle, we got another 34% above. Then it goes to 13.59 between the first and second standard deviation on each side, and then it has 2.28 uh, between the second and third standard deviation on each side. And you add those all up, you get 99.7%, and that's what we have written right across the bottom, the line that's connecting the far ends. Now, this isn't the entire distribution because it's infinite. It goes on forever in either direction, but 99.7% of this infinite distribution is within three standard deviations of the mean. That's really where all the bulge is. So that's nearly all of the scores. Uh, again, it makes it only about three out of a thousand scores will be farther away from the mean than three standard deviations. All right, the third one. Which z-score is furthest from the mean of its distribution? The choices are minus 1.6, 1.9, minus... 0 0.089 or 0, 0.00. Well, the mean of a uh, distribution of z-scores is zero, and so the answer here is 1.9. And the reason for that is we're looking for the absolute value. So you just ignore the plus and minus, and whichever one has the biggest number, uh, the biggest absolute value, is the one that's farthest away. Uh, again, we've got this little histogram here that shows uh, we've got a mean here in the middle of zero, and it goes negative to the left, it goes positive to the right. You're just looking for the one that is far up, that is furthest away from the zero. And uh, you ignore the plus or minus because you're just looking for distance. All right, number four, what is the value of skewness for a normal distribution? Is it one or zero? Is it infinite or uh, can, is it that it cannot be determined? The answer is zero. Let's take a quick look. Uh, we've seen this chart before. Um, right there in the red is the bell curve. That's the normal distribution, and it has no skewness. The green one, whose hump is on the right, but whose extreme values are on the far left, that has negative skewness. And the blue one, whose hump is on the left, but has far extreme scores on the right, that's positive skewness. Again, it's because there's a formula for this. And if you ran them through for the normal distribution, you would get a value of zero. So a normal distribution has skewness of zero. All right, last question in this practice test. In a data set with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10, what z-score would a raw score of 35 have? And the choices are 35, minus 1.5, 15, or plus 1.5. Well, the answer is minus 1.5, and here's how you get there. Uh, the formula for a z-score is to find out the distance between the score and the mean, so that's the x minus m part, and then divide that distance, which is called the deviation score, by the standard deviation. 
And so in this case, we take the person, the raw score of 35, and we subtract the mean of 50, and we divide it by the standard deviation of 10. So 35 minus 50 is minus 15. We divide that by 10, and we get minus 1.5. And that is our score uh, for the raw score of 35, converts to a z-score of negative 1.5. And that's where we are for the first practice test, and I'll see you for the second one in just a minute.